Next question is from Alabama Craftmaster. As far as overtraining goes, how sore is too sore? Usually, I'll give you a kind of a general answer. Usually, if you're sore for longer than a couple days, like two days, I would say more than that, you probably overdid it. If your soreness is impeding your performance in your next workout, you probably overdid it. If if it's sore to the touch, rather than like, I, I, it's okay to get sore to where you have to stretch the muscle. Yeah. Like if I worked on my chest yesterday, right? I, I don't notice it's sore unless I sit there and stretch it and I go, oh yeah, I feel a little bit of soreness. That's okay. But when it gets like sore to the touch, where every movement hurts, where it lasts for more than two days, you probably overdid it. Yeah, it's almost like uh, when you're really tight and restricted versus like it, you're aching like all day. Like it's just this constant sort of throbbing signal that you're you're sitting with, uh, which I, I've been to that level, and that's not something that uh, I'm like, oh wow, that was way too far. I way overreached, but like a little bit of tightness, I think it should be expected. I mean, it this is such a hard one to answer because the because of the individual variance, because so many people are, are if I'm talking to a client, for say for example, I'm talking to a client who is completely um, weightlifting is foreign to them. You know, like they're the type of person who remember the first time you train these clients where they they say instead of saying sore, they're like I hurt. You know, my bicep yeah. hurt. They think they hurt, they hurt themselves. I think I'm injured, right? Because they don't they're not familiar with feeling sore. You know, explaining them what soreness is and that it's okay and it's part of the process. That conversation sounds like that. Then I then you have someone on the other the other end of the spectrum who is like hardcore training all the time and they're chasing the soreness because they don't feel like they have accomplished a good workout unless they're really sore. Then I'm talking different to that person because that person more likely is in what like Sal always explains the what I like the recovery trap where your body is constantly sore. It's always trying to recover and it's never allowing it to adapt and grit stronger and build more muscle. So it is a fine line and fine dance. Myself personally, when I if I come out of the, uh, a workout and the next day I'm really sore to where it, it it I can feel it the way I move, whether it be in my chest or my legs. I'm walking differently or I'm moving differently because I am so sore. I overreached. I, the, I always look at that as like I did more than I needed to do. I could have done X amount uh, less sets. I could have worked out 10 minutes less and I could have been just as effective as far as my pursuit of building more muscle. So, And that is a constant conversation with myself. So it really depends on who I'm talking to. Are you the person who gravitates towards training to be sore, you probably need to back off and learn how to scale back on in your workouts. If you're someone who's just unfamiliar with being sore and you're like, oh my God, is this a bad thing? I heard Mind Pump says that I shouldn't be too sore and I, I actually feel really sore this next day. Like eh, getting that person kind of comfortable with being sore. So it's a really hard one to answer on a podcast when I'm not looking at the person or talking to or know their history uh, to where I can tell them like how sore they should or should not be.